Hello there! Day 34 of the Ewan mcgregor -athon, and you might notice I'm lagging behind a bit. Now, I do have a perfectly good explanation for that. Normally, this was my plan for this week. As you can see, as usual, one film per day. However, on Monday, where I would normally watch scenes of a sexual nature, I couldn't find that film anywhere. Eventually, a friend of mine found it for me, but by then it was already Tuesday. So I moved Scenes of a Sexual Nature to Tuesday together with Miss Potter. However, on Tuesday I was quite busy, so I only had time to watch Scenes of a Sexual Nature. And thus I moved Miss Potter to Wednesday. On Wednesday, though, I also was quite busy, so I had to move Cassandra's Dream to Thursday. So now, on Thursday, I would normally watch Cassandra's Dream and Incendiary. However, Thursday I unexpectedly turned very very sick and I wasn't able to do anything. I couldn't even leave my bed. So I moved Cassandra's Dream and Incendiary to Friday. So now the plan was to watch three films on Friday. Cassandra's Dream, Incendiary and Deception. However, I still was feeling a bit under the weather on Friday and I couldn't find Cassandra's Dream or Incendiary anywhere. So I contacted that same friend that found scenes of a sexual nature and eventually he found it for me but by then it was already Saturday today. So if I want to remain on schedule I should watch four films today which uh, I think is a little bit much. So this is my plan. Today I'm going to watch Cassandra's Dream and Incendiary. Tomorrow I'm going to watch Deception and I Love You, Philip Morris. And on Monday I'm going to watch Angels and Demons and The Men Who Stare at Goats. And normally, if everything goes to plan, I should be back on schedule then. So, now that my situation is explained, let's talk about the movie. My first film of the day is Cassandra's Dream. And, uh, yeah, I don't know anything about this film. I guess it's about a girl named Cassandra and her dream. I know it's with Ewan McGregor and also the guy who played Graves in Fantastic Beasts. Um, and I quite like that actor, although I cannot remember his name right now, but that's okay. I guess they're brothers or something? I think it's about brothers, but I'm not sure. Anyway, um, I think it's a crime and a thriller, so uh, yeah, it shouldn't be too bad. So, uh, yeah, we'll just go ahead and see, and I'll let you know what I thought of it after I've seen the film. Well, that wasn't really what I was expecting at all. It was much, much more boring. Where to begin? This film is about two brothers who buy a boat, and it appears the film would be about that boat, as the film starts about the boat, all the main characters talk about, mostly is the boat until about 20 minutes in and then and then everyone seemingly just forgets about the boat but you know it must be important because well the film's named after it the boat is called Cassandra's dream but anyway uh, the brothers just continue their living uh, the first brother who's played by Hugh McGregor meets a girl despite dating another girl and he tries to flirt with her and start a relationship with her and for that he needs money for some reason. Everyone spoke with a really thick London accent and I had some issues understanding uh, some of the dialogue so I couldn't really follow sometimes and why Ewan McGregor needed money is one of those things I missed out on. I'm sure there's a perfectly fine explanation I just didn't catch it. Anyway, while he's flirting with this woman, uh, his brother, played by Colin Farrell, gets himself worked into quite a bit of debt. He gambles, he plays poker, and eventually he owes some people a lot of money. So the two brothers ask their uncle for some money, who agrees to give them the money. However, he wants something in return. Uh, they should kill a man. That's really where the movie starts getting interesting. However, that only happens after about 40 minutes or so. At least it felt like that. There's just a really, really long introduction without 
anything interesting happening really until the murder is mentioned and then they go on preparing for the murder but not in like an interesting way more like mentally preparing it's not that they go oh, looking for information about their target or buy some weapons or something no they just mentally prepare themselves until they finally do it and then you see a little bit of the backlash on uh, Colin Farrell until Ewan McGregor is persuaded by his uncle to kill his brother as well. The plot was really weird and boring. I didn't like it. On IMDb it says this movie is a crime thriller. However, the crime is not really the main point of the film. And for a thriller, it's not really thrilling. I also don't get why this film is called Cassandra's Dream. The boat appears at the beginning and at the end and in the middle no one mentions it. There's also nothing really interesting going on with the music or the cinematography. Most of the scenes are shot in long shots. Every shot is about a minute or something but it doesn't feel like a stylistic choice. It feels more like a necessity because otherwise they would run out of time or money. And as a result of the long shots, sometimes actors stumble over their words. And that's left in because I guess it's not a big enough mistake to reshoot the entire scene. So that felt kind of cheap and it also didn't really help with the boring feeling of the film. The more long shots you use, uh, the more boring a film feels because, well, there's like less cutting and less action. Also, Ewan McGregor dies in this movie, which makes it the fourth time in the Ewan mcgregor film that he has played a role that died. All in all, I'm giving this film a 5 out of 10 because I didn't really enjoy it at all. It was really boring. There were some positive aspects, like the murder was interesting and the ending I actually really liked. It's just everything that happened before. Anyway, join me tomorrow when I will be watching Incendiary. So do join me for that and I will see you tomorrow.